share this video, please like and subscribe. And also, after you watch this tutorial, you should know how to, like, use all the stuff. And you should be able to go straight to scripting. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to just show you around Roblox. And I'm going to have a couple of these videos, but it's not really going to be a series. I'm just going to show you like around Roblox Studio and how really to use it. It's not really going to be a series yet again. Um, it's just going to be like for before you script. Uh, so first, um... Uh, First, what you want to know is this this gray black base plate is definitely one of your enemies while making a Roblox game. You do if you're making a realistic Roblox game, this is your serious enemy. So what you want to do is click on base plate and then. Uh, I'm going to move my webcam. Okay, so inside of properties, uh, if you don't have properties open, then it should be straight just inside the view tab. And then properties, you want explorer out because this would all be gone. We want explorers, property, which is next to explorers. And then, yeah. Then we want um, output, which should be right here. So, explore properties output. Okay, I'm actually just gonna close it for now because we're not gonna be using it right now. Okay, um, so let's go into base plate. You have it selected. Then inside your properties bar, there should be like brick color, cast shadow color, and all these different properties. Um, so if you want like, let's say grass, then you click on this little thing right next to the plastic that it should be. And then let's say we want it grass. There's a grass right in there. But you've never seen any grass that was gray, unless if it was painted. Um, but if you don't want like this painted weird grass, then you're probably gonna want to change the color. So if you click over here, this should come up. You have a bunch of basic colors on the side, and then you can make your own custom colors. But for now, I'm just going to um, not make a custom color. Just going to keep, like, normal color. So then this bar adds, like, how bright or how dark you want it. We're going to be, ha I'm going to have it, like, a little bit light, a little bit dark. And now we have our Roblox grass. But look at this. It's just, like, an endless nothingness like well not really endless it's just like doesn't really look that good honestly you can use your properties bar and also if you go into home this part and if you click on part over here it creates a part you can scale it using this scale tool can rotate using the rotate tool and you can move using the move tool and you can just select blocks using the select tool the only reason we went in explorer for the base plate is it doesn't work if you try to select it so that's why we did that but if we go over to properties um and color, uh, we can have this a little bit darker. Then, what I'm gonna do is anchor it inside properties or over there. Cause if you don't anchor it, then it's, 
it can fall. It just anchors it, like, let's say if it's up in the sky, it's going to stay up in the sky. And you can't, the player can't push it. Then you're going to want to make this, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to do, uh, where is it? Okay, so if you're trying to make ro a rock, then definitely use slate. Because look at this. It looks perfect. Then, just scale it up as a brick. Really, just don't make it too big. And then you got a rock. But this is not looking that much like a rock. So you're going to use your rotate tool, then rotate this. Then, if you press Control D, or if you're on a Mac, Command and D, then you can just copy it, rotate it, and then keep on doing that. Copy, rotate, copy, rotate, copy, rotate. Then you got a rock. But something also you don't want is Z fighting. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. So if you um, don't want any Z fighting, then. Okay, so you're going to go into size. And then this one should be height. So just like, let's say, put. A bunch of zeros then let's say put one then there shouldn't be any more Z fighting if it was the right side uh, just keep on trying till I get the right side there we go so it's the middle side I used and now you can barely even tell. Like there's a little tiny pixel. And uh, you can just keep on doing this like with all your rocks. Or you can just rotate them differently. Uh, if you see it. And then if you get your rock. If you press Control and Z G. Or Command and G at the same time then it should group it all together as one thing. Then you can put it under the ground. And if you want to put stuff under the ground and make a rock, make sure you have collisions off because it's really annoying when you have collisions on and you just have to turn it off. And you didn't even know it. Okay, then we can put some rocks around. And I'm just going to put a bunch of rocks around. Okay, I put a couple of rocks around. And now, if you want to make a tree, then... Uh, you don't really want, like, the square brick, kind of. I mean, it's okay to use a square brick. It's just not, like, the round kind of tree kind of shape. So, I'm going to delete that. Then, if you see this part, a thing under the part, if you click on that, you should have a bunch of options for stuff. Actually, not a bunch, it's just four. And then, you can press cylinder. Then, it'll get a cylinder in. Rotate it correctly. Then, what's happening? It's just moving when I scale it. Well, you don't really scale a cylinder just one way. You have to scale it that way and then the next way. So now, it actually gets scaled. Then, you can scale it up just as normal. And, you can get some block, a block. Uh, you probably want to change the color of this first. Uh, 
let's change it to the normal brown that the tree is. So in between or the darker kind of that should be good. And then I'm gonna change its material to I think it would be good having it concrete maybe. Oh wait, no wait, there's a wood one. Wood. Then you have your wood. Next, you can put this on, but this is not, this is just like, you. you do not want a tree looking like that. So if you go inside the part and then in search for the object special mesh, if you put SP, it should just pop right up. SP. Special mesh. Insert a special mesh. Then you can make your tree different. And, and then if you go inside the mesh, you can just change the mesh type inside properties. Uh, like, let's say you want a wedge. That you can just insert a wedge, but that's another way. Uh, a file mesh. There's a sphere, which I kind of want to use. Uh, so uh, just um, keep on. I'm going to scale it a little bit like this. A little bit more like this. And then keep on copying it make it littler make it littler plus if you want to undo something that you accidentally did it's just con control or command and z okay and i'm gonna change the color to all the for, and i'm gonna make them all green i'm not selecting that bottom one why am i not uh, just turn I'm gonna make it a little bit darker because it's the bottom one can barely tell that it's darker and then you can just keep if you hold control or command uh, and select stuff then you actually can select multiple things and then I'm going to change all their, I'm going to make them all grass. And now it looks like a perfect tree. So we can group this all together. Now we got our tree. We can keep on copying that. There we go. But that's really all for this video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to give us a thumbs up and yeah bye